You got your tip ready? Yeah. Three minutes max? Okay. And go. We're gonna do Morph. Morph is this really cool tool. You've seen it a little bit before. Really quickly, I can draw a box on one slide. Duplicate that slide, move the box over here. Go to the Transitions tab of the ribbon and choose Morph, and it will magically and seamlessly move from one slide to the next. That's pretty neat, but if you were to do something like this, where you had a small green circle in the top left-hand corner, duplicate the slide, you can then move the circle, but also resize it and recolor it, and it will all still work. This is all morph, just two slides. But then you can take a slide like this with a really complicated graphic and say, well, you can't read this, but this is our overall process, and then I'm gonna take you through each stage piece by piece, so that you can now get a sense of what's going on. This is all possible with Morph. This is also really boring. You don't want to do this. You want to do something more interesting and exciting, so let's hack it. Here, you can get a nice picture. Again, it's complicated, but I want to be able to show small portions of it as a lens. All of a sudden, you use Morph to highlight various elements of the image. Wow. How do you do that? Well, you go to a blank slide and you add in a picture. Let's get the nice beach there. I'm now gonna duplicate that picture, line one of them on top of the other, like that. I'm then gonna take this top picture and crop it. I'm gonna specifically crop it down so that it goes to roughly the pool there, like that. I don't want it to be this kind of square shape, so I'm gonna to go to crop, crop to shape, and make it a circle. It's not actually a circle, it's a bit of an oval, so I'm gonna go crop to aspect ratio one to one. Then to make sure that you can really see what's going on, I'm gonna to go to the picture effect and add in a shadow around the outside so that it now stands out a little bit. Then I'm gonna increase the size of it so that it's giving you that sense of uh, zooming in. Duplicate the slide. Now take this image that you've just cropped and move it over something distinctive like the red umbrella over here, for example. If you were to zoom out and then add crop again, you'll see that this is actually a crop mask and the rest of the picture is there. I can move this across to now center on the red umbrella, go to the transitions tab, add in morph, and it will go seamlessly from there and give you everything in between to highlight that. Using this technique, we're not done yet, I've got 43 seconds, hang on. <laughs> Using this technique, you can wait, do all sorts more. of funky things. So for example, that's nice for highlighting stuff, but also think about the design and the different styles that you can bring this to life with, using multiple images to bring that forward, or as part of your storytelling to show different views of a room, for example. You can bring out nice effects, make it look like it really isn't PowerPoint at all, because until Morph, you couldn't do any of this kind of stuff in PowerPoint. And these are all the kinds of things that it's now possible to do with Morph. Absolutely fill your boots with it, it's cool. Go for it. All right. <laughs>